From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In 1901, divers in the Ionian Sea found an ancient shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera Island. The vessel had sunk sometime in the 1st or 2nd century BCE, and it was a treasure trove. Bronze and marble statues littered the sea floor. By 1902, sailors were still exploring the area, and that's when they found the ruins of a computer. The device they found, called the Antikythera Mechanism, was an analog computer used to make astronomical calculations, astrological forecast, and to keep track of the date. This computer was already about a hundred years old when the ship wrecked. But according to mainstream history, mechanical devices of this complexity did not exist until the late medieval period. But this computer was built between 100 and 150 BCE. It is undeniable proof that at least a few people were more advanced than previously supposed. According to fringe historians, this is just the beginning. Here's where it gets crazy. This isn't the first time scientists have discovered an artifact that changes our traditional assumptions. In roughly 1938, the director of the National Museum of Iraq found several 5-inch terracotta jars capable of producing small amounts of electricity. In short, batteries. Today, they're known as the Baghdad batteries, and experts still disagree about when these things were built. But there's no mystery here, and the science behind the batteries is sound. In 2005, Mythbusters reproduced the jars and verified the devices were able to generate an electric charge. Like the Antikythera mechanism, the Baghdad batteries appear anachronistic, meaning they seem out of step with our view of time. We're not sure what these batteries were used for, and skeptics argue that just because these devices produce a charge, it doesn't mean they were built to do so. While the Baghdad batteries and the Antikythera mechanism are two of the most popular examples, history is rife with tales of anachronistic discoveries. People have claimed to find spark plugs in solid rock, metallic tubes surrounded by 65 million year old chalk deposits, and iron implements that predate the dawn of man. Mainstream experts claim these discoveries are all mundane, and easily explained through an examination of the geological processes involved. But what do the conspiracy theorists think? Some believe that these anachronistic machines are evidence of time travel, that the only way an iron nail could end up in Mesozoic rock is if someone from the future managed to move backward through time. Others take these devices as proof of ancient interaction with extraterrestrial beings, and claim that aliens are ultimately responsible for these machines. Perhaps the most interesting conspiracy theory doesn't rely on aliens or time travel. Instead, a third group of conspiracy theorists believes that these devices were accidentally revealed to the public, remnants of an ancient civilization that has been omitted from the history books. Usually they claim that this civilization is Atlantis. It sounds unfounded, but at this point we must consider the ancient civilizations of Africa, such as Aksum and Kush. So what do we make of these curious batteries that existed hundreds of years before the official discovery of batteries? What should we think of a computer that predates Charles Babbage's adding machine by over 1,000 years? Are these devices the smoking gun for conspiracy theorists who believe in Atlantis, time travel, and aliens? Or are they, as the skeptics assert, only evidence of our species' shoddy work at tracing its progress? Most importantly, what will we dig up next? <laughs>